Bangladesh is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. The pressure of this huge population on the limited land resource is changing the land covers rapidly with diminishing amount of forest and other natural resources. For several decades, various organizations of Bangladesh are preparing land cover maps for different purposes. However, inconsistency in land cover definition restricted the comparison of land cover and change detection over time. Bangladesh Forest Department developed the National Land Representation System in collaboration with different national and international organizations. Data collection, translation and analysis were carried out for NLRS development. FAO provided technical supports for all these activities. The gaps of existing land cover mapping process have been identified and addressed. This standard system will help in harmonizing different forest monitoring process and will support in assessing sustainable development goal indicators. The National Land Representation System of Bangladesh is based on internationally recognized land classification system. It allows transparent and improved land use monitoring data which are comparable across different regions and time. Widespread adoption of this system will allow informed decision making for government of Bangladesh as well as other policy makers. This is the first time that a national land representation system is developed building on all existing national land cover classification systems and using the last FAO land cover classification system, LCCS. LCCS is an ISO standard for land cover and the national land representation system is flexible. It can be upgraded and improved over time. And this provides a robust system to ensure the consistency of land cover monitoring over time and at different levels. Each class definition in NRS is based on their biophysical characteristics rather than subjective definition. In order to characterize the classes of the NRS, field data are collected from uh, 1144 locations within the country using Open Forest Collect app. The classes are placed on different uh, hierarchical levels based on several uh, classifying attributes. The use of this contemporary geoinformatic practice in NRS made it reliable and universally accepted. Based on the NLRS and employing latest satellite images, National Land Cover Map 2015 is developed. The class of Land Cover Map 2015 were derived from NLRS and based on distinction of classes from satellite image interpretation. To produce the Land Cover Map, SPART 6 and 7 multispectral images were used for the whole country. Landsat and Sentinel images were also incorporated to support the mapping activities. All the photo interpreters were trained to have a clear understanding of the NLRS-based land cover legend. With the expert knowledge and available ancillary data, discernible classes from satellite images were identified and the land cover map 2015 was developed. To prepare national land cover map of 2015, we have used spot 6 and 7 images. But that was not enough to overcome the problem of seasonal variation, particularly uh, in the field of agricultural land uses. So we took different seasons images of Landsat 8 and Sentinel 2 along with spot images and differentiated uh, single crops and multiple crops uh, land covers of Bangladesh. Actually, quality checking was an integral part of the whole production chain of land cover map development. Accuracy assessment was conducted on more than 14,000 locations using a pseudo ground truth validation technique. 90 to 94 percent overall accuracies have been found for the classification at the national, district, and other ge geographic levels. The NLRS and land cover map will facilitate activities of different sectors such as forestry, agriculture, water, physical planning, soil and other sectors. Previously, different agencies and ministries followed different land cover classes. The analysts can attain a proper platform for harmonization. So if all of them use harmonized land cover classes, I think then the output or the proposition for a strategic policy or plan would be sustainable. Now, we can integrate our soil data with this harmonized land cover map, which will help to plan agricultural activities, both for present and future. I hope it will also help in sharing knowledge with other countries 
which ultimately enhance agricultural development for all countries. The NLRS based Land Cover Map 2015 is an asset for agriculture related professionals as it will help to provide location specific agricultural advisory. It will help to provide consistent estimation of cropping area and yield, as well as exploring the potential areas for cropping intensification. Briefly, it will help providing sustainable agricultural planning. The national land representation system would be very useful for the water management in the country uh, because uh, the water management largely depends on the land cover. We as a country experience flood, drought and different kind of water related disaster. And, but the problem that we face is a sort of interoperable and compatible land cover map. So the land cover map 2015, uh, I mean done uh, with the NLRS, uh, would be a very uh, I mean, useful contribution for the country and the water management sector overall. The robustness of the whole process of NLRS and land cover map development is manifested by the extensive collaboration of different projects, including NFI, UN Red, DECMA, and by recognition of its utility by several national organizations. Development of such a system and its application in developing a national land cover dataset is one of the first ever initiatives of its kind implemented at a national scale. The NLRS based Land Cover Map 2015 is already being used for the Bangladesh Forest Inventory the preparation of indicators for the sustainable development goals and is expected to be the foundation for future land cover monitoring in Bangladesh, allowing comparability between maps prepared by different agencies and for different purposes.